psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Hey everybody, welcome to my live psychic reading on racism in America. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure, of course, you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell next to the subscribe button, and make sure you hit all notifications when you hit the bell. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you for being here. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a tarot reader, a psychic and energy channeler, and an astrologer. And in this video, we'll be talking about racism in America. We'll be doing an energy psychic channeling reading, all right, on that. <clears throat> so if you'd be interested on part two of this video, I know it's really bright for some reason. Um, I do have my windows open, so that's probably why, but Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com, all right, is where you can check out part two of this reading, this psychic reading. You can also become a member by hitting the join button. The lowest membership option is two ninety nine a month, and you get exclusive access to content such as part two of this reading and part two of other readings I've already done and will do in the future and stuff like that, um, including other content. So definitely become a member and make sure you also check out my website, which is also whited out for some reason, but it's okay. LamarTownsendTarot.com. The link should be in the description box or the comment section below where you can purchase a reading with me, schedule a reading with me. Um, I do want to, I'm probably going to post something soon where I post like, um, the most recent video on my YouTube channel, so you'll probably see something like that. So if you want to keep up, up, updated with my YouTube channel, check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. Uh, okay. Lastly, follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Lamar Townsend Tarot. The link should also be in the description box below, hopefully. Um, let me know. Anyway, with that being said, in this reading, I would like to talk about racism in America and what the future of that looks like. So let's go ahead and do an energy channeling. Of course, as you all know, I have to cleanse the cards when I do my readings. So let's go ahead and cleanse the energy of, or not the cards, cleanse the energy of my space, I'm sorry. I literally just got done reading a client about an hour ago, so I think I'm still in tarot reading mode because I did a tarot reading for her. Anyway, thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space from any past readings. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for opening up the channels so that I can get a good reading on racism in America and what the future looks like. Thank you for being my mouthpiece, Father God, for speaking through me. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. So let's see what's going on. I see black Americans being chained together, but not necessarily in terms of slavery. I feel like it's more so us chaining ourselves together. And it's interesting because when I say black Americans, you automatically think I would say African Americans, meaning black people who were born, raised as American citizens in America, right? But I'm not I'm also talking about, like, 
non uh, non African Americans, meaning um, foreign black people, you know, people from Africa and all other areas of the the world, not from America, are chaining themselves together based on our collective experiences of racism, of white supremacy, of um, microaggressions that stem from these two issues and systematic, institutionalized uh, viruses. I, I don't know, you know, it's like we all chain ourselves together. There's something about there's going to be an unspoken understanding of I look out for you, you look out for me when it comes to, I feel like definitely black people, but eventually it will permeate to all brown people will kind of chain themselves to this collective movement, I guess I could say, when it comes to fighting and combating racism. Because when it comes to racism in this new world, it's very microaggressive, I feel. Like, it's very um, passive-aggressive, microaggressive, doing little things, saying little things, taking little digs at you to let you know that you are inferior and I am superior, you know, based on my race and based on yours, your race. But it's like... I feel like, there's, whereas in the past you would see, you know, these types of moments be recorded on World Star or YouTube and people would kind of make fun of it. People would comment, that's horrible, blah, blah, blah. She should be this. They should be that. He should, you know, have this done to him. It's like these things become a real threat to those types of people, like, to racists. So, like, say if, if moving forward someone is caught on camera being a racist of any sort or form, it's like the tide changes quite quickly for that person, you know, and not in, in the best way, not in, and not in, in a good way. I feel like racism in America moving forward... I hear will not be tolerated because, and I'm seeing a mixed race, because I feel like maybe we're becoming more mixed race. This could mean an intermingling of races, of people, different races of people, meaning, you know, I have a, I'm black, I have a white neighbor, you know, and, you know, maybe upstairs, we have a Spanish neighbor every Sunday, we have a potluck, we share our collective experiences, we kiki, we cackle intermingling of the races right but there's also an intermingling of the races where you create mixed race children right you know so that's what i feel um I don't know why I feel like mixed race children are going to, or mixed race people are going to feel the effects of racism harder in some way, shape, or form, or maybe this is their collective experiences, than non-mixed race people. Maybe because they get both sides, they see both sides, but it's just like... There's a clear distinction between, I think it must be because they get, they have, some mixed race people I feel like have issues between both races of their, you know, ancestry. So it's like if they're white and black, you know, they they have issues on, on both sides. If they're Spanish and Asian, they have issues on both sides, you know, like, you know, they can't, there's, like, there's an issue between intermingling. So, of course, a lot of this stems from, like, old patriarchal, matriarchal, you know, um, baby boomer and beyond and, you know, maybe a little bit before or after that energy, all right? That's what I feel. Um, But 
But I want to say it's through... From Generation X underneath, like meaning Generation Generation X, I mean, I think it's Millennials after Generation X, I feel like from that moving forward, I feel like racism is going to be not be tolerated. And maybe that's why I'm hearing that energy. Because maybe what's going on in the world is not just a battle between good and evil. It's a battle for like power over the world. Maybe that's why, like, this is going to get into, I don't know, I'm getting maybe conspiracy theorist, but maybe that's why, like, there's such <clears throat> this twisted use of young, youthful energy. Because I think he, the youth actually has the power to change the world. Like, we think it's, we, we think it's these old Republicans, but really, they're the ones fighting for control over the world to maintain everything how it is. That's why they're not let. That's why they don't let anyone. Or that's why they very rarely let anyone, youthful, ethnic, in the White House. And when I say ethnic, I also I don't know why I pick up like even Jewish like. <clears throat> I think the reason, only reason why Obama got into the white, well, there are many reasons, but I feel like that one reason had to do with his, ethn, not his ethnicity, but his racial lineage. Because I feel like they take that into account when it comes to being, like, a president. I don't know. So maybe there's racism even when it comes to that, actually. Like, race, of course, I wouldn't be surprised if there is. It goes deep in America. It's, in you know, intrinsic it's uh, become the part of the fabric of america unfortunately right uh what a disgusting society we live in in america anyway i can't be on here too long i have to do a personal reading soon all right <clears throat> what are things what, what can we see moving forward I mean, I feel like there's always going to be microaggressions. But I keep hearing Aryan race. What is the Aryan race? Because I feel like racism stems from... A, I may be conspiracy theorists here again. It stems... Obviously, it stems from a certain race of people. But I feel like there's something where, like... I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it. It stems from a lineage. A very white, pure, purely white, aboriginally white lineage. And I think it intrinsically comes from a fear of someone different than you that's what I feel I mean I feel like that fear but it turns into racism trickled down to other people because they position themselves as the majority well if that's how they treat if that's what the majority the people in power you know treat these people then you know I'm gonna reenact what they do hence racism you know from you know and within the asian community the latin community the hispanic community puerto rican community black community indian you know middle eastern communities stuff like that <clears throat> so it's really clearly very clearly a way to keep the elite in a position of power But it systemically upholds this, like, the elite as well. That's why I don't, they, that's why everyone's saying it'll never go away, because of the elite, it upholds the elite. I think the elite are all, like, very much white people, but there's something about their lineage as well. 
that's like very I hear ancestral could be ancestral as well oh but something like that so okay is it gonna go anywhere though I don't know I think I'm gonna get to that in part two of this reading um because it, it's deep. It's deep up to the elite. Like, you know. I think that's where it started. That lineage of the elite. Um, and there's different levels of the elite. But it starts at the very tip top of the elite. Seriously. That's what I feel. I'm going to stick to that. Anyway, I'm going to get to the rest in part two um, as to how will it be moving forward. Will it ever end? We'll see. Thank you for listening and watching. Remember I said something about the youth, though, is the key to change overall, like in everything, but specifically when it comes to racism, which is why the top elite powerful people are so incessant on manipulating the youth, manipulating the minds of the youth, and using the energy of the youth. So the youth, wake up. We love you all. Thank you for watching this video if you're young. You're super woke. Anyway, thank you for listening and watching. Um, I really, really appreciate you. Remember, if you would like a reading from me, check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button, all right? And Or, yeah, of course, hit the like button, but hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Check out Vimeo if you want to see part two of this reading. Vimeo.com slash lamartownsandtarot. The link will be in the description box below or the comment section below. Um, or, or hit the join button on my YouTube channel, become a member for the lowest option of two ninety nine, and you can get access to part two of this reading, um, and more content that I will post in the future as well. I've already posted and, um, follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at Lamar Townsend Tarot. Love and light. Love you all. I will see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next reading. Either way, I'll see you soon. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And... Remember, I'll see you for your own personal reading or I'll see you in the next video. It's your choice.